Hey guys, I'm gonna show you a secret menu. So I'm gonna to go to a place I've been meaning to go to for a little while, and they've got like a regular menu, which I will go over, but they have a secret menu. So I'm gonna like reveal their secret. I don't know how to segue into that. The point is it's a secret menu, and it's supposed to be very, very, very good. So we're gonna head there now and check it out. I'm kind of hyped. I'm kind of, I've never done a secret menu before, and I think this is gonna be a good one. So let's make our way there now. Okay guys, so here we go. This is it. It looks, I'm liking that sign. Let's go inside. Check out the secret menu. Guys, so I thought I'd just quickly show it to you whilst we're super quiet in here. I'm liking the feel of it. From the outside, it looked a little bit on the small side. It's actually lots of space here. I'm sitting right there in the corner because I feel like that's a good spot, but there's a lot of space. There's a lot of space. Let me get myself sat down properly to go over the menu with you as well. I've never done a secret menu before. I mean, they have a regular menu, of course, which I'm going to look at, but I've never done a secret one and I hear some of the stuff's really good. So stay around if you want to see what it is. I'm really, I'm, oh man. This is the first for the channel. Some stuff does stand out already though. For example, chicken waffles. I love chicken waffles. Not that many places do that, you know? I think that's really, really nice. Um, oh, deep fried ice cream, that's gonna happen. We've got burgers here, we've got sides. And I think, yep, that's the full menu that they sort of display. And then they've got the secret one. I don't think I've ever said the word secret this many times in this span of time. But there you go. And just before I place my order, if you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more foodie content, I cover Manchester, Birmingham, London, um, Oldham. I don't know where else I cover, at Bradford. And I kind of go all over the world as well. So do make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my videos. Guys, right, so I actually just had a quick chat with the people here. Some of this stuff looks so good. Some of the care and attention they take looks next level. I'm gonna explain all that in a little bit to you when the food comes out. So that should be the next shot, so do stick around. I will do the secret item menu type thing, but even the regular menu looks good. And they're gonna let me exclusively try something. That's not even on the menu or the secret menu. So when you see this video, that's when they're gonna launch it. Um, that sounds great. <laughs> The first thing we're gonna show is the Nashville, guys. Look at that, that looks delicious. I love a spicy chicken burger. So you already knew I was gonna get this, right? I think everyone on here knew I was gonna get this, but there's so much more food I wanna try. No shade at any other takeaway that a spicy chicken burgers, but sometimes you can feel quality. Like I love the brioche they've used. They've used the perfect amount of mayo in there. The actual meat goes right to the edge of the bun. It's just constructed very well. The lettuce has not wilted. These small touches, you know? They've got gherkins in there, they've got cheese. One of the best things about my job is that like no one else is around. So you know when lots of mains are coming and you have to wait for everyone for their mains to come. I don't have to do that because the other food that's coming is mine. So I can just eat. <laughs> in like a sea of generic spicy chicken burgers, this stands out. The batter is still crunchy. They haven't used too much sauce, so it's still crunchy to it. The chicken itself, I can just taste how fresh that actually is. Steam is coming out of it. It's got like a delicious te texture to it. It's like super soft. So take a look at that. This is the single. You can get a double, but this has very much a gourmet sort of feel to it. Very much a sit down restaurant where they take care in like the ingredients and whatnot. It's not just sloppily put together. That is like, honestly, that's like like a retail level where I think that's like a gourmet place. One of my favorite places in Manchester. This is getting a hay. Man, there are very few things that I can knock with this. It's absolutely delicious. And honestly, right, I didn't even know they did a spicy chicken burger. I just saw it on the menu and I thought, you know, I've got to get it. The people here recommended it. It is spicy and absolutely delicious. I think I might have to do a head to head between Clacarito and these guys. That is delicious, but we're moving on. Because there's so much to show you guys, like this double burger. Uh, this is the magic. So it's got American cheese, it's got mushrooms, and it's got sauteed. Um, onions and some crispy onions in there as well for a bit of texture. We've got some chips and they've got their homemade sauces. So I'm not normally a massive fan of mushrooms, but sometimes if they're cooked really well, they can convert me. I just thought I'd try this guys because we've got a double patty, we've got sauteed mushrooms, we've got crispy onions as well as like fried onions. And I think it's one of the best sellers, so it would be remiss of me if I didn't try it. And then those secret menu items, they are coming guys, they are coming. Ah, not that way around, this way, because I always get told off for that, but. Here we go. Also, side note, I, I like when they do stuff like this because it helps me because then I can refer to the menu and I, I know what I'm eating. So let's try the magic burger. This is so, so soft, so succulent. The meat is so juicy. 
genuinely shocked that I have not been here before because that is one of the best smash patty burgers I've had in Manchester. I'm not even a fan of mushrooms and I am digging this. The cheese in this is lovely. The sauce they use is lovely. The meat has got such a, just a soft texture, feel and taste to it. It's absolutely delicious. Again, I love the care in actually putting this together because there's so much going on. This could easily be sloppy. And I just hate when I'm holding a burger and stuff falls out the bottom. They've got a little pouch for you. They've got a little pouch. So, so far, this is like an extremely high level kind of place. It doesn't feel like a takeaway. It feels more like, just in case someone's listening, it feels more like a restaurant to me. This is like restaurant quality food. You can see they've taken care, even in that meat, you can taste the quality. They've taken care and attention. In fact, let me have a look at the menu. It's a house blend of dry aged Aberdeen Angus. So if it's a house blend, what they've basically done is they've picked their own cuts. They've specifically picked cuts that they want um, to put into those burgers with their special bun sauce. That's the sauce that I can taste. It kind of tastes a little bit like Algerian sauce, a little bit, but kind of different, a lot better in my opinion. That guys, that is getting it. It's, I, I cannot believe I've got two. Two hay rads, how crazy is that? But I'm here for the secret menu items, but I am blown away by the first two. That is getting a hay. Man, and you guys know that they don't come very easy. They don't come easy at all, but we're gonna move on now to something else. Also, I don't really focus on chips, but shout out to these. This is their bun seasoning. This is something a little bit unique. I could taste some maybe oregano in there. I'm not totally sure what. Obviously it's their own seasoning. So the chips are cooked really well. This instrument, it's quite hard to get, whoops, it's quite hard to get fries that I've got a good amount of potato content inside. These are nice. But I've asked what's coming next because I've ordered quite a lot of food and it's the secret menu item. So stick around for that. I am hyped for this one. Secret menu. I've never done one and it feels a little bit special, okay? And something to note actually are the sauces. They make everything here in house. I don't normally focus too much on sauces. I like to eat things almost plain if I'm being honest, but we've got cheese whiz. We've got their own uh, pink sauce, the garlic aioli. Um, and then we've got their special sauce as well. I think it's the special sauce they use in the burger, which I really enjoyed and I, lo I love cheese whiz. So I'm probably gonna have them maybe a little bit off camera. I don't have to focus too much on those if I'm being honest with you, but just to say they make everything themselves. So this is the part of reviews I never normally show. Sometimes I have people with me and they can help me finish the food. But on days like today where I'm trying to give you guys a good view of lots of menu items, I simply can't finish everything. So I pack it up and then I eat it kind of like whilst I'm editing. That's kind of my process. I'll be editing and I'll be kind of eating and doing that kind of stuff. So I took a bite out of everything and then I'm gonna take a bite out of everything that's to come as well. So the first secret menu item, I think it's called their Dirty Burger. So you've got the chicken burger that I had earlier, we've got a patty, but we've got the American cheese with sauce. So combining meats and we've got that cheese with sauce. Man, that just looks just indulgent and like hearty and like just, I just wanna put my mouth around it. Oh, come on, like, come on, look at that. Does that not look, come on, that looks good, right? That looks hearty. That is always bigger than my head. And then the second secret menu items arrived as well. It's their loaded fries. Is this not the prettiest loaded fries you've ever seen? Is it not? So has, it, this has all of their sauces apart from the bun one. So it's got, we've got some uh, cheese whiz, some pink sauce, some garlic aioli. We've got chicken all on a bed of chips and their own spices. And that's the one that I showed you a second ago. Let me tell you, I'm very happy. Okay, I'm very happy. I don't know what to go for first. I think I'll do the chips only because I've done a few burgers already. Oh, and we've got a really special chicken and waffles coming. Different to what you've ever seen. Different to what I've ever seen. So yeah, that's coming too. Let me just get myself into this. I want to get like a good amount. You know, I want to get some chips. I want to get a good amount of chicken. I kind of want a good mouthful to kind of get the full experience, get every flavor that this has to offer. I don't know why they left off their own main sauce, but whatever they did was perfect. Because in my head, I was like, you got three of the sauces, just put them all on. Perfect. That is, in my opinion, the best loaded fries I've had in Manchester. I'm not even a saucy guy. I'm genuinely not even a saucy guy. This has converted me. I think it's the chicken as well. I think it's the same tenders you get in the burger. So there's a little bit of a kick there because of the spices, but the breading on the burger still retains crunch somehow, even under all of that sauce. And this is the large. They do a small and a large. I wanted to understand how big the large was. That's easily enough for two people, come on. This is absolutely massive, this is so big. But uh, yeah, really impressed with that. I can't think of a better place for loaded fries. And now we're gonna move on to this little monster. I love this like, you know, this little like a, uh, I don't know, like a like a nappy? That sounds so weird to say, but like a 
catcher of all things because at the end you have like a little mini meal there <laughs> but let's try this. i don't normally mix meat and beef uh, beet and chicken i'll be honest but i'll give it a go it's a secret menu item i have to do it I have, it's a hard job guys someone's got to do it right <laughs> The cheese wings, cheese whiz brings the meat and the chicken together. For me personally, I would still get the beef burger on its own, the chicken burger on its own, and add like cheese whiz or just ask for cheese whiz sauce. But if you're that mixy kind of person, a saucy kind of guy that you want to mix all this up, I think you'll really enjoy that. But I think it's pretty well documented on the channel that I tend to prefer to separate my animals. But as far as like mixing stuff goes, I think that's really good because I absolutely, I mean, look, the chicken burger got a hay man, the beef burger got a hay man. So you know what I think of the meat patties and the chicken patties. So definitely try those. But this is something I think I would get every time I came here. I think they're gonna give me an item which they haven't launched on the menu yet, but they're gonna launch it the day that I release this video. So if you're watching this now, when that item does come, I'll let you know. It's a brand new exclusive menu item. And now we're just gonna try this little peanut butter milkshake. I'll be honest with you, I'm not gonna hold that. There's so much going on there. I'm not gonna hold that. I'm gonna do one of these. I'm gonna use the tray to help me. I'm gonna try not to like spill it, you know, that'd be kind of embarrassing, but there's no one in here. So uh, no one's watching apart from the thousands of you at home. So. Um, that's embarrassing, hold on. This is peanut butter and brownie. It tastes like peanut butter and brownie. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not a massive milkshake guy. But it might be nice with the spicy chicken burger to cool your mouth down. And guys, this legitimately looks like the best chicken and waffles I've seen in my entire life. I'm gonna try and break this down for you because there's a lot, there's a lot going on here. So I just wanna explain this. There's so much going on here. I actually made some notes, guys. I made some notes. I don't normally do this, but I always get this right. So the batter that the waffles made out of is actually a mixed herb infused batter. The tenders are the Nashville chicken tenders that I really loved. The uh, maple syrup is slightly subtly spiced. We've got a lot going on here. Let's try it. Honestly, I love chicken waffles. I love the balance between spice, between um, sweet. This slaw here, I think it's got I think it's a pickled slaw, some acidity. I'm gonna chuck it all in and give that a go. I didn't even mention the garlic aioli. Garlic, the spice from the tenders, the acidity from the slaw, the sweetness from the maple syrup that's actually got a little bit of spice in it, the herb infused batter, all kind of worked together as this like symphony of flavors on your tongue. That is actually one of the most unique things I've ever eaten. I'm absolutely in love with that. Like I am in love with that. But if you haven't tried anything like this before, like I love chicken waffles, I have them all the time, but this is like chicken waffles that I've never had anywhere. This is incredibly unique. I would go as far as to say they're probably the best chicken waffles I've ever had in the UK. These are next level. Like this, you just need to try. Like try other stuff too, obviously. I loved everything else, but this you have to try. Like I've dropped a few hay mans. This is getting a hay man as well but at the same time it's so unique that i want people to try it i want i want people to try this because it's so different as well as the burgers and the fries but this is so different this is so different we've got more coming but get this get this we have more to go but i'm so impressed so far i'm so so impressed with the variety of food like the care and attention to not only the food the quality of the ingredients the presentation they care about the balance of flavors but we've got more to go yet this is gonna blow you away so this is a brand new menu item. It's not even on the menu yet. It's gonna launch as I launch this video. So we've got grilled cheese sandwich, chicken tenders with some slaw, some of their sauce, and a grilled cheese sandwich. How epic does that look? Sandwich, chicken sandwich. I don't even know how to handle this. And still, I have to say, even though there's so much going on there, it's prepared so well that it's actually not messy. Like, that's impressive. I think what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna try and cut this. Oh no, hold on, let's cut it this way, actually. And then let's try and show you the inside. Uh, <laughs> I think I've cut this okay. I think I may have ruined the cheese pool because I cut it so effectively. But look at that. Look as packed full of meat and goodness. Oh, look at the, look at the cheese. Look at the cheese. That just looks insane to me. That looks so good. Times like this, man, where I just, I love what I do. I just love what I do because that just looks too good. Two grilled cheese sandwiches, chicken up in there and some coleslaw. You know, one thing they did here, we chose for straight, they could have used the tenders dipped in the spicy sauce, you know the natural tenders? They actually used the regular chicken, which is breaded. So that, it actually shows restraint. I think that goes better with the cheese and spicy ones would have. 
You can taste the cheese blend, you can taste the chicken, the floor. The bread tastes like, who's that dully bread? I feel like it's called dully bread, I think some people call it pan bread. When you fry bread, it tastes like that. A ton of cheese going on. This is launching today. So from the day that I launched the video, I'm gonna let them know they're gonna launch it. I think that's pretty cool. But you gotta try this, man. There's so much here that I would come back for. It's hard for me to narrow down what I would want. So go through the video and just look at your own sort of palette. Um, look at it in the mirror. Like, and, you know, think about your own palette and decide what works for you. I would go for all the Heyman items for sure. But there's just so much goodness here. There's so much good food. One more item to go, it's actually the fried ice cream, which I've only had in Australia, and I had it in Singapore. I've not had fried ice cream in the UK. I've not seen it anywhere, certainly not Manchester. So I'm excited to see what that's like. Because it says like spiced, but I imagine it'll be like ginger, cinnamon, kind of warm spices also. That was me. This started as a clean menu. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, bun ink, I'm sorry. So yeah, that'll be the last item, and then I'll give you like my final thoughts, even though you know that I love this place. You guys are cool, so you're gonna wait and watch the whole thing to help my YouTube analytics. My friend, the look of this does not disappoint. So we've got some honeycomb, some chocolate, a bit of popcorn. We've got uh, some sauces going on. I think it's ice cream, right? Which is actually covered in like a spiced cinnamony kind of batter. Oh man, oh, <laughs> I can't wait to try this. So I've got my tool to hand. Let's all break into this. I wanna make sure I capture this. I'm doing this with holding the phone with one hand and then doing this with one hand. This is gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I think I can, oh. Do you know what? It's actually still got a little bit of firmness to it, that ice cream. It's a little bit melty on the outside. I know I messed that up, but I still get the taste. It's like, a little bit warm on the outside, we're a little bit melty, and then the ice cream's a bit cold. You get different temperatures, you get different consistencies, texture, you get crunch from the batter, crunch from the honeycomb, but then the actual ice cream kind of mellows out the sweetness. You can taste the cinnamon, I think there's ginger in there, some chocolate going on. Such a unique dessert, so different. Oh man, how much is this? This will cost you 650 of your English pennies, so £6.50. This is enough to share between two. Get this afterwards. Seriously, you've not had anything like this. I certainly haven't, and I, I, I like traveling for food. Guys, this is getting, it's gotta get it. I'm sorry, <clears throat> let me be professional. Sometimes I get excited in reviews, and I, I just start eating. <clears throat> this is getting a hey <laughs> mad, because it's just one of the best desserts. So many flavors and textures. And one mustn't forget, they make everything themselves, which is so impressive. So I've had like the regular menu, which I loved. At the secret menus, first time I did that, they were kind enough to uh, let me order like a secret, not a secret menu, I'm a menu item, which they haven't launched, but they've said they'll launch on the day of this video. So if you're watching this, this out, which is the um, grilled cheese chicken sandwich. I've had the only fried ice cream I've had in Manchester, in the UK actually. I had it last time, I think it was Singapore, and then before that was Australia. So this has been just one of the funnest, most amazing reviews with food at easily restaurant level standard with great seating just outside of the city center so very easy to get to near victoria station i am so impressed with these guys they are just one of the best takeaways in manchester i've had an absolute blast i wish there was someone here with me that i can enjoy all this food because I'm gonna take it all home. I really wish there was someone here because when food is this good, I like to enjoy it with people. If I'm being honest, I just love having fun with people. So yeah, this food was good. This was really good. But if you wanna see another video from me guys, all you gotta do is click up there. If you can, please make sure to like, to comment, to share, subscribe if you wanna see more content. That really helps me out. And it shows YouTube you like it and then they start showing other people which helps out my channel. But that takes me right to the end of the video. Bye, 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 bye.